Sure you're ready for that, Mr. Whitman? Hey, it's Dave from the Daveyverse. Yeah, bring you uh, an update to Blade. I uh, had, had a video out late, not late, earlier this uh, month that the director Bosman, he basically quit under the guise of he wasn't getting to rewrite the work and the work apparently was a rip-off of Underworld. So let's hope that Jan will have basically a better chance if he can at least convince. But it does sound like, uh, well, as I'll read, Blade. Jan steps in as director on Marvel film with Michael to write the script. So it seems like he's got his writer in. So they're going to rewrite the script. We'll see how it goes. I believe he did uh, 71, which came out in 2014. I like that, to be honest. It was... That was sort of a dark tone. Uh, I reckon that would fit Blade quite well. I'm hoping for more of an action though, given it's a superhero franchise. But we'll see how it goes. After parting ways with director Bosman, Marvel Studios had moved fast and only found his replacement, but a new writer as well. So Jan has signed to direct the pick with Michael to write a new script. Marshall Ali is starring in the role of Marvel Studios president Kevin Feige producing. So it's not full new reworks. Marsh Charlie will still play in the role. I don't mind that. I, I've seen that guy. I reckon he could actually pull off Blade. Kevin Feige. We all know Kevin Feige. Seen him in uh, She-Hulk with uh, the robot. That was his idea. Fuck me. Wait. After Bosman moved on from the project, Marvel decided not to rush on finding his replacement as they wanted to make sure they get the right director and the right decision to push pause and pre-production. So it's been pushed back to another year now, given uh, the relapse that they haven't even started filming yet. It can be seen why, and it sounds like they needed to overhaul the script in uh, within its entirety. So that sort of uh, would fuck you up massively, I guess. But having the extra time meeting candidates, uh, Marvel, has now zeroed in on the writer and director who could deliver the tone they want to achieve with the film. I'm hoping they don't make it a PG-13. It sort of hinders movies these days that Disney aims at that sort of uh, tween age. And I get why they do it. They can hit that, if they hit that target audience there, they have basically the wide range from uh, 13 all the way up to about 30, where Marvel fans well, stands pretty much off. If they hit 18, then they can pretty much go balls to the wall with this. And I think that's probably the best way of doing it. That's how I would do it anyway. Like I said, given the director's past, he produced 71, and I personally like that. Uh, it, was, it was darker tone, darker grip. It was more of a sort of adventure drama. Uh, I would put, I, that's the category I would put it as. Go from there. I recommend watching it too, to be honest with you. It's before all this... Uh, crap where they've started interject woke stuff okay so well it probably won't be as dark as previous blade picks ah that's not what we want man just said in says marvel is looking to go with a darker tone for the film than other mcu projects having been in the past uh, following weeks of meetings and pitches uh read jan would land a job after delivering a pitch that Accepts we're excited about So it seems like they had a casting call they got the directors of all stripes coming and it seems like Jan there for it Which I thought was a bit weird there uh, picking Jan first his resume isn't really that big to a Marvel franchise Especially one as beloved as Blade Pardon oh, me Enough's getting dry. Yeah, uh, you know how it is talking into my dry to be pain in the ass. Uh One day I'll get a proper big set. Well one day with some uh, look that this actually takes off I get a few more so I'll start to invest my own money into this I can get proper mics I can get a camera for myself yeah we'll see how it goes so where was I yeah and big break came on the drama 71 starring Jack o Jack O'Connell uh, the film earned uh, raving reviews and put Jan on the map 
and ultimately landed him directing jobs on uh, Matthew Crime Drama, uh, right boy Rick. I've been told to see that, but I still haven't got around to it. I believe it's like a sort of a uh, well crime drama. I think it's about a guy that gets involved with the mafia and he ends up doing uh, dealing drugs. Jan's other uh, credits include Lovecraft's County. Weird, I've been recommended that as well. Weird, so he has done a few things I've been recommended, but just haven't just haven't got round to I haven't got round to him. And will direct the exclusive production of Scan the series for HBO. So it's pick, so he's at least picking up more more credit more credentials now. He's had a, I think seventy one was his first. Well, it says there that it was his first big hit that came out in fourteen. Uh, so he's got another three under his belt. Uh, could be that he could be the right man for the job. And as for Starberry, script has been in demand following his Emmy nomination work on the critically acclaimed Limit series. When they see us, uh, he also received an executive producer uh, limited cred on Colin in Black and White. Jan is rep by CCC here, which that's just who he's represented by. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'm a bit more optimistic now than I was in my earlier video. Uh, we'll have to see how it goes though. Uh, I won't take Marvel without his word. We'll, I have to see it to believe it. But I'll leave it to that. Catch you in the next one. Peace. Hey, don't forget to like and subscribe to the TV-verse.